How did this, what started out as a small band in high school, make it all the way from Topeka to the big time? Ooh, Very big time. Um, we were fortunate to have some great material written. But there's so much incredible luck <laughs> involved in all this because there's always somebody better, a faster guitar player, a better guitar player, a better singer. There's so many things. We had a lot of tenacity. We were young enough to not have any fear of what was in front of us and united enough to just march forward through it all. And so we just kind of kicked down a lot of doors along the way. Uh, now, Topeka being quite isolated, but it was like any other town. There was a radio, and when the, with the British invasion, the, the town exploded. Everybody I knew was in a band. Uh, but still, not being from you know sh Chicago, New York, L.A., the odds were definitely against us. And so how did it happen? I, we just kind of, we've kind of been a band that refused to go away, I think. Um, always just kept taking the next step forward. How did you manage to navigate the business? Well, <laughs> um, th there was nothing in Topeka uh, that would uh, have given us any education on how to run a band, how to be successful in a band. It didn't exist. I remember getting our contract from Don Kirshner, rest his soul. He sent us the contract and um, he wanted our publishing. Uh, we didn't know what publishing was. Kerry thought it was sheet music for piano. Okay, he, I remember Kerry going, let's sign it. So we did. Well, Don Kirshner would not have signed us if we had not signed our publishing away. So it seemed like common sense that if we wanted to get out of Topeka and become, uh, to be able to earn a living, that we were gonna have to give up something. So that seemed like common sense. What seemed more like common sense to me was reading the contract and seeing that Don Kirshner also wanted the name Kansas. Ain't gonna happen. And Kerry was going, Phil, you know, we gave him, I said, we're, we're not giving up our name. That, that's who we are. Once he has that, who are we anymore? We knew that this was, this was our chance, but, but we, had, we had to have a name. We had, to, we had to be somebody, you know, we just couldn't be, you know, Don Kirshner's boys, that, that was not a good band name. So, you know, it was the kind of thing that, uh, as Rich said, th things would come at us and we just used common sense and tried not to implode because we're just taking these little steps and here came this contract, we signed the contract, we went to the local IGA and, and bought barbecue to celebrate because that's all we could afford. Because up to those three years before that, we'd been living on a dollar a day. Each guy in the band got a dollar every day. So you, you can imagine going through that when you have this opportunity, you just have to take a minute, you know, don't be an idiot, don't blow this. Use some common sense, get yourself signed to where you have an opportunity. And from there, from there, we started, you know, signed with an agency and we started opening for other bands. Queen and, and other bands that were out there. We didn't have a manager, we didn't have an attorney, we didn't have an accountant. It was just the six of us with our arms linked and we're <laughs> gonna go out there and kick every band's ass that we could find and every night when we opened, we were gonna blow them off stage. Well, obviously we didn't do that all the time, but we tried.